the, the Apple car is not dead. Um, really recently they had some, some patents actually, um, that they had put through for like a sunroof. And, uh, I don't know about you, but like, I'm just paying attention to any activity cause I'm just so curious, partly because there's a Canadian company that's rumored to be actually producing this car. Oh, um, Canadian company. yeah, I rumored, I think it's called like Magna. Um, I, I can't pull up my phone and check the stock ticker, but, um, a Canadian car manufacturing company has been rumored to be the one making this Apple car. And I think that's great for us here in Canada if they're doing that. Um, but more than anything, I think it's just kind of cool to see, you know, Tesla's making this Tesla phone, Apple's making this Apple car, like really the, you know, Elon and Tim Cook kind of going head to head, I think is a lot of fun to watch. Um, but yeah, the Apple, so the sunroof, the, the patent they put through is for um, basically kind of doing what Apple always does, kind of combining existing technology in a way that's better than everybody else. Um, no bias there. Um, <laughs> and basically they took this this technology that was, uh, it's called like variable, I think it's electronic variable, um, d- like uh, tinting in the glass. So you can change the tint. Um, oh. Yeah, so you can make it like super tinted. Like and that's on the sunroof? And the sunroof. Okay. And then also that same, that even though it has that technology, it also has sliding tech as well. So it's able to like open and close oh, kind of okay. like a sunroof, yeah. I think. So um, I, I guess the reason I'm bringing this up is um, what do you think about just, I mean, not specifically the patent, but what do you think about Apple in the space overall? Like, like I mean, it's, it feels like the only natural way up, I guess, right? They, they kind of consume you everywhere. On they're, they're on your TV now, right? With Apple TV. Um, like, I mean, and it's a huge market clearly with Tesla, right? Like it, it clearly just makes sense for them to enter that area. I've been, I mean, I'd probably buy one of their cars to be honest, you know? I don't know. I don't even know how they'll work. Like, I think they might, for a long time, there was rumors that they would just work with other companies and kind of like That's what I thought. collaborate. I think there was like Hyundai was going to do it. And I feel then, like that's a huge can of worms to open to, to get into that, you know, with, I mean, think about how many car manufacturing. Yeah. yeah. It's like you do. I think Elon always says it with the new EV companies. He says, they don't know how hard it is. To, it's easy to make a prototype. It's hard to manufacture at scale. Yeah. Now Apple knows how to manufacture at scale. Like let's not kill ourselves, but I don't know these like with, with cars, like these yeah. like, gigantic machines. Right? The Chinese kids in China can't be making cars. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that's just not going to happen. So I wonder how, I wonder what price point they would put it at. I mean, I just don't even know what it looks like, you know? And that's kind of what I am thinking. Like, I love the look of Tesla's, right? I wonder what an Apple car would look like. I feel like the first ones, like, let's think, how much did the wheels for the Mac Pro come out at? I think 400 bucks for wheels. Oh, that was the stand. That was $1,000, right? No, so the Mac Pro came out with wheels. Yeah, no, I know that. I know they came out. That was the stand was a thousand bucks, but yeah. the wheels were. I'm just trying to think vehicular, right? Like yeah. the wheels were four hundred bucks for like like casters, like the yeah. ones that we got for our office for for five bucks per <laughs> chair. Yeah. They're selling them for four hundred, four I think four hundred dollars. Um, so I don't know if you, if you carry that over into automotive, I feel like the first Apple car should be like approximately two to three million dollars. I think if you scale that up, millions of dollars. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. Okay. I, I just, I just feel like it's gonna. They have to come in at a premium price tag. They're yeah. not gonna price match Tesla. They can't. They're, and and the thing about Apple that we know is they never create a product at a loss. They'll yeah. do all the engineering, and they're gonna, they're gonna. That first product's gonna be at a profit margin. So, um, which is, which is the opposite of what like Ford and everyone else is doing. They're, they're building these cars and they're losing money. Yeah. But Apple won't. So it'll be expensive, I think. But people will want it because they'll be able to like. It's Apple. They'll like be able to like, want hey it. Siri, boot the car up, and you know what yeah. I mean. Like this is gonna be the eco- oh shit, I just enabled Siri right now. <laughs> 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 Gotta be careful saying that. I know. Um, but yeah, I think. I think it, Apple overall is exciting to see what they do in the EV space, and also. I mean, they have most of the technology there. Like you obviously saw the Apple wallet with opening your car. Like that was an yep. update in the new, it was iOS 15 or 14, whatever one it is now. Um, AirPlay or CarPlay, right? We just discussed that. Like there's, like they already kind of are in car tech, like almost fully, right? And if you have an iPhone, it really would just make sense to to get into that industry. It's just the hardware that I just really wonder about, right? Because they're just so dominant in the consumer electronics cars, right? 